How many cubic feet is a cord of wood? Do we know the answer to that? Of course we do. Man. is a cord of wood. Do we know the answer to that? Of course we do. And we never have to ask a question again in our lives because there's Google. So it almost, we, we've almost, now we almost don't need to speak to anyone anymore. We don't need to ask questions. We don't need to inquire. We don't need to do nothing but hold that little device in our hands and go, hey Siri, right? So that's all fine and dandy, but what happens when you have a space, like this space here, and you don't, you, you wanna save time and not, not stack your wood, because that measurement, 128 cubic feet, is stacked, it's not loose. It's not loose, make no mistake. It's not like this. It's not like that. Do you know how much space it takes to get a cord of wood loose? Do you know what I mean? Like throw it in loose. Do you know how many cubic feet you need of space to get with that stacking the back row and perhaps the front row because you don't want to smash your window out? So you stack the front row and stack the back row and throw it all in. You need approximately 180 cubic feet. If you mound it, maybe 170, somewhere there. Okay, so, so that's the measurements you need for a one cord of wood loose. Now, so, so what is the measurements here? What, what, what do we have here? Let, let's go, even though I'm a little heat, let's take this measurement. It's four foot. It's four foot. I designed it. It's four feet. Now, what's this measurement? Oh. It's six and a half. Okay, so that's that's six and a half. Let's measure this. I'm gonna call that five. I'm just gonna call that five because it's a little over five, but it's actually bang on five. It's five feet. It's five feet. Let's do a measurement. Let's do it. Let's do that measurement. Give me a second and I'll come right back to you. I had a fella in the comments ask, how much wood is that when you throw it in loose and stack the back row? Well, uh, I just started stacking it. As you can see, I've just been picking away at it here and I thought, well, I better, I better help folks out on this one and, and let, let folks know what this is. So let's quickly get a tape and I'll show you. Through the years, friends, I have, well, Anyway, you, you, you guys know. <laughs> you guys know the deal. So, how much is a cord of wood, friends? You, you guys know, don't you? I know you do. Four by four by eight. So, friends, I, 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 I find this as useful information. Okay, I'm just grabbing a tape and coming back over. But this is useful information. So, how much wood do you need in a, in, in a, 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 a compact stack? How much wood do you need? We all know the answers to this. It's 128 cubic feet. So if you think about it, it could be 16 feet long. Hear me out. It could be one stack at 16 feet long by six foot high. Check it out, check it out. Six foot high, one, one row, just one row at 16 feet. Um, that's it, that's a cord of wood. Just one row at 16 feet, at six feet high. What's 16 times six? 
Well, 15 times six, see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter, you could have, so let's take a cord of wood, four by four by eight. So that's three stacks at say 15 or, well, 16 inch, 16 inch, 16 times three is 48, pardon me, is four feet. 16 times three is four feet by four feet high by eight feet long. It's 128 cubic feet. Okay, well, we figured it out, friends. It's two thirds of a cord. Actually, this is the live interjection I had to put on my baker's hat for this one, friends. It's not two thirds, it's more. Two thirds of 180 cubic feet is 120 cubic feet. I love Siri. You just have to word it properly and she'll tell you the answer is anything you want to know. Like I got Siri right here. Should we test her out and see how she's feeling today? Let's try, watch. Hey Siri. Huh? What is three quarters of 180 cubic feet? Okay, I found this on the web. Darn what it. Is three slash four so they give you those things. So that one didn't work, but the last one did. It said 120 is two thirds of 180. Hey Siri. Uh -huh. What is three quarters of 180? That would be 135. There you go. So friends, as a matter of fact, it's three quarters of a cord. That's what it is, that the numbers don't lie. So this is very interesting. <laughs> Somebody, I think somebody said something about a half cord. It's way more than a half cord in that truck, the way it's designed. And, and remember friends, there's void. You know, th these are just space numbers, but I know this is interesting to some people. To me, it sure was. And do you know how I found out the space I needed for a cord of wood? Do you know what I had to do? I think you do. I stacked a cord of wood, four by four by eight, right in my yard. I stacked it, boom, a cord of wood and I started throwing it into this box that I had. <laughs> it was a three quarter ton 1981 GMC that I converted into a one ton dump truck and we kicked the snot out of that truck, but it was a one cord delivery truck loose and I built a box for it and it was 180 cubic feet. <laughs> it was great, people love that truck. Anyways, well, let's go. Which is quite a bit more than half a cord. So this is well over half of a cord. There's the first stack. So it's actually, it's actually quite a jag of wood. <laughs> Two thirds of a cord, that's pretty good. So really, if you think about it, but we have 130 cubic feet. So if you take 180 and minus it by 130, you're short 50. I hope this is making sense and I'm stacking it. And it is actually ready to throw in the stove. So there's no, here's, here's how I see this. We've got, um, we've got Morgan to look at. Dad's good for a season. Dad's good now. Um, so we're getting myself covered. We got Brian Wood. Brian can always use more, so I'll probably get Brian more. But this is a constant, friends. This this is just a, a constant. And it's not just ditching it, throw, throwing it off the truck all loosey-goosey. Right? So, friends, I want to close this video off with a small, quick little story about shorting someone. Um, friends, I've, I had that, remember Big Green? I called her Big Green. It, the, the truck was, it was three, three quarts stacked. It was 12 feet long by four feet high by eight feet wide. That's, three cords stacked and it was too loose. It was too loose. And as a matter of fact, in retrospect, let's look at this very quickly. 
Seriously, this will be very interesting, friends. You're with me. Let's just do it. 128, 128 times 3. I think it's 384. I remember these numbers. It is. It's 384. Check this out. Check this out. Right? So, um, let's do this. 12 feet times 4 feet times 8 feet equals 384 feet. You see? So it's all space. So now, here's another one to me. Think about that. How many square feet for two chords is needed? Well, it's 180 times two equals 360. 360, so you need 360 cubic feet. Check this out, check this out. You need 360 cubic feet for two chords loose. Well, we just showed you that two chords loose in that truck, well, the, the space allowed is 384, but we only need 360. So I would crank the back a little bit down, you see? So I had this freaking design, friends. It was good. It, it was good. I So one day, here's the story. I had my little truck and I had 105 cords in the driveway and a guy down here, a customer that I'd known for years, called me. He said, I need a cord of wood. I'll be right down. <laughs> Threw it in the truck, drove down there. It was a cord. It was a big cord. Okay. But guess what he did? I dumped the wood, my little dump truck. Poof. Thanks, Cy. His name was Cy. I think, he's, I think he may be dead now. I used to love delivering firewood to people, friends. I did. I, there was this one guy who'd show up every year and he said the same thing to me every time. He'd pull out his, his, his old camping chair. You know, the old school from the 70s, the, 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 the chairs, the fold-up chairs. And he'd sit down there and he'd say, hey, Bill. He says, I, can, I love hard work. He says, I could sit here and watch it all day long. He'd say the same thing to me every, every time his name was Bill. Anyway, back to Cy. So Cy, I dumped the wood. A, f a few day, a few hours go by. Like, like I think it was even the next day. He, he called me. He said, you shorted me a bit. And I said, that's impossible. And I went down there, friends. I went right down there because I don't, I don't take kindly to that. I went right down there. And do you know what it was? So picture a, f a stack, four by four by eight. And there was on the last row, like, you know what I mean? On the last row, because there's three rows, there was a little corner that went down a little bit. We're talking a wheelbarrow load. I'm not joking you. A wheelbarrow load. But you know what he done? This is funny. He stacked that firewood. He split it all smaller, right? All small. Because he's an older guy and that's just what he does. He has his rituals like we all do. And he ended up stuffing every little void and filling. You, you, it was like a puzzle. And, and, and the corner was short. So what did I do? I zipped back up to the house. I grabbed a bunch of wood, probably twice as much as he needed. And I dumped it for him. And that was that. I'm telling you, don't. People have their rituals, friends, especially the older guys. If you're delivering firewood to anyone, to anyone, over deliver. Don't think to yourself, well, if I give more here, then I'm losing for the next cord. No, you're not. You're not. Because that guy's going to stack his wood, then he's going down to the local pub, and he's going to sit there with his mug of beer, and he's going to talk to all his buddies. You got your firewood in this year? I know this young fella, he dropped, and you are going to exponentially grow your business by just simply throwing a little extra on. It's how the world works. Don't forget it. That goes with any business. So that's the end of this video. I love you all so much. Thanks for coming here. Thanks to our members. We've offered memberships to this channel. Friends, I got to tell you, it's getting hot over there. <laughs> Anyways, I love, I talk a lot, right friends? I do, I talk a lot. A lot of people don't like that. They just want to see trees crashing down and sawdust flying and axes flinging. I get it. I get it. Well, this is why memberships is there. That's one reason it's there. 
So if you're interested in joining a very, a very interesting group of people who, who like to talk about real life and get into down and dirty, the membership is a, is a good, good place to be on this channel. And I want to thank all our already original members that have come. Over and out, work hard, be honest, and be kind. And I'm looking forward to Paul Bunyan this year, big time. I'm looking to shake, looking forward to shaking some hands and hugging and hearing some stories. We're not going to be blasting off all the saws like we done last year, friends. It's going to be mellow. It's going to be just, you got something to say to me, I'm yours. Give it to me. So it's about you. That's what it's about. I look forward to seeing you. See you on the next video.